are sugary drinks fattening? Sugar sweetened beverages are often targeted specifically to have added taxes placed upon them. At one side of the spectrum, taxing sugary drinks could allow for funding to be directed towards nutrition education. At the other side of the spectrum, some people believe that taxing sugary drinks is a little bit like infringing upon free choice. It's a little bit like one group of people saying let's tax gambling, gambling isn't good. And then another group saying fuck you, I love gambling, I can do it responsibly. In the past, I've made a point that demonising sugar as a single ingredient is misguided. Also, sugar isn't actually fattening on a calorie for calorie basis, it just turns out that a lot of foods that are high in sugar are easy to consume in excess. However, Sugary drinks are a little bit different and are often studied independently of foods with added sugars, like this. So of course, sugary drinks can contain a lot of calories. If a teaspoon is 5 grams of sugar, this would be about 12 teaspoons. On top of this, they are known to elicit a weak response for something known as dietary compensation. And what does this mean? Well, if you eat some extra fruit at your lunch, there is a good chance that you will subconsciously compensate by eating fewer calories at dinner. And sugary drinks don't seem to do that to the same degree. For example, in one study, subjects were given either 450 calories per day from jelly beans or from soda, which looks a little bit like that, or just over two of these. No fixed total daily calorie intake was prescribed, and subjects could consume them however they wanted during the day as long as they consumed that portion every single day. And at the end of the four week period, dietary compensation was seen when subjects ate jelly beans, but not when they drank soda. And of course, because dietary compensation was not seen when drinking soda, subjects trended towards gaining weight. A similar effect is seen with most liquids versus solids. Liquids are less filling in general, demonstrated by this study testing an array of different drinks. So sugar itself isn't inherently bad. Different food sources of sugar have huge variations in terms of nutrient density and effect on appetite. Also, telling people that they have to avoid added sugar indefinitely is not an easy thing to achieve, and it might often backfire. <coughs> we can cheat meals. But if someone's goal is to lose weight, reducing sugary drinks specifically might be an easier place to start.